one of the hotter prospects out of the combine, man. Quentin Grimes. Now, Quentin Grimes originally went to Kansas. Jumped, yes. jumped into the pre-draft process last year. Decided to go back to school. From, from what the reports say, the, the Kansas had already gave his scholarship away. So, ends up going to Houston. And has career highs in in, in, in points, rebounds, three-point percentage, three-point attempts. Went into the combine scrimmage and started lighting it up, man. What, what do you think about Quentin, Quentin Grimes? Six foot five with a six, seven wingspan. Another one of the three guys that have caught my eye. I wouldn't say he's one of my favorites yet, but he's a guy that caught my eye uh, pretty consistently. So he's a very good defender. Really good defender. He uses his body to stay in front of... Uh, his guy all the time um, doesn't doesn't like to hip check. He just goes body to body, slides his feet really well, anticipates jump shots really really well. Like so, he gets blocks on the perimeter for a guard at six five. You know the wingspan does help, but his ability to anticipate and contest those jumpers it's pretty impressive if you were able to watch him on video do that. As I said, he moves well, which means that he also moves well without the ball. Kid moves tremendously well without the ball. He shot over 100 three-point attempts this uh, this past season, I believe. Yep. And he was over yep. 40, 41 or 42% from three. Um, I think it's 42. But his release improved from when he last played, obviously, or from the last time that we saw him, uh, judging by from what I was told. But he, he does have a big dip on it, but his release is so quick on the dip that he's able to get it off really well. So shooters like that, that dip the ball and they're able to get it off really quickly in terms of moving well without it, great, great baseline shooters, man. And that's a guy that you, you set a couple good screens for him on the baseline. We're talking like straight baseline cuts, um, curls, horn action, all that type of stuff. He can do it. Um, Hammer, he's going to be one of those guys that you're going to love if he's able to be on your team and you could run those type of sets for him. He's decent off the of screens. Houston ran a lot of Euro action this year. So fans understand like Euro action is a lot of movement. Obviously they're going to value the off screener <laughs> and coming off of the screen. And he did a great job with that. Uh, as I said earlier, he's a big body kind of guy, great rebounder, really good offensive rebounder as well. And he loves physicality. He kind of, he welcomes it. So he grabs the boards in traffic and then he pushes the ball. So that was something that caught my eye on synergy. And uh, he follows his shot. Mm. <laughs> it's a lost start. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. that helps him get his offensive rebounds as well. He follows his shot uh, immediately. Once he holds his follow through and that guy hand comes up, he drops it and he, he goes straight to the rim. So that was something that I really, really like about him. One of three players in NCAA to make 100 threes, 40% from three. And I think he shot eight attempts. So, um, so pretty good volume there for, for Quentin Grimes, man. Stock, stock is certainly on the, on the rise. And as you said, a solid defender, plays physical as well. So he, he should find a nice home somewhere in the league, man. We'll, we'll see yeah, he's not a one-on-one -on -one break him down kind of guy. Yeah. But he does enough to get to his spot, to get his shot off if you need him to break something down. Mm -hmm. He's not going to take no more than two, three dribbles and, you know, dance left and right on that. However, he might be able to work on that just because he embraces the physical play. Yeah. So, you know, you're talking about a lot of snatchbacks. You're talking about a lot of, you know, rip throughs, like, you know, pump fakes, get his man up in the air, you know, physical plays that, you know, are just able to get him to the line or just get him a bucket. That's something that I could see him, like, doing pretty well in the league considering how they call fouls <laughs> the way yeah, that they yeah. do. So, you know, he's, he's not a great passer. But let's be honest, in this in this day and age, in the system that the Knicks are going to run uh, for him, if he is on the Knicks, uh, he won't have to do much of that. You know, just pass and, you know, get to your spot in the corner or lift anything that they're going to ask him to do, uh, shooting from the slot, that type of stuff. You know, rock out. He's a, he's a very good pick, uh, and he's going to be a really good player in the league. Quentin Grimes is somebody, uh, Houston guard, Former McDonald's All American, transferred from Kansas. Um, good combine, right? To the Final Four. What's that? He had a good combine, Quentin Grimes. He had an awesome combine. He's the best player on the floor in both of his scrimmages, um, and uh, he just he just screamed pro. Like his vibes were just like this kid's a pro, and maybe that means a seventh man for the rest of his career. But if you get a seventh man at the thirty-two pick, yeah. that's that's a win. Yeah. 
And so uh, he brings a lot of the things the Knicks are looking for, which is shooting, secondary playmaking, toughness, high IQ. You know, he just screams role player. And so uh, to me, he's somebody who definitely helped the stock. And if you're a team who's just looking for a guy to contribute on the rookie contract for the next couple of years, he is clearly an option 